Good morning, you guys. So, as you saw yesterday, it came down hard. There was tons and tons of snow. Um, I mean, just take a look at this. I mean, we started the day with relatively decent weather, and then we get dumped on. Made for, made for a fun time. I mean, obviously, we went out and went snow skating and had some fun, but yeah, so this morning I am um, getting up, had to shovel off the car and uh, do everything to be able to plow my car out of the driveway. Um, I'm going to be late to work and everything else, but that's what you get for living in Maine. To say hi to YouTube. Hi. This is my son Sage. He's my mini me. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, Daddy. On our way to go drop my kiddos off to school. Just to give you guys a little peek at what it's like living in Maine. Take a look at this snowbank. Look at how tall that snow is. It's taller than you. So that's what we have to deal with on a daily basis in wintertime. So any of you guys live in California, Florida, or the lower half of the United States, feel grateful. You do not know the struggle of having to clean off your car and deal with this every day before you go to work. You guys ready and excited for school? Kids are off to school. Now I get to go to work. He's on. He's on. lunch break from work as uh, you can probably hear they're doing a bunch of work removing all the snow check this out you know it's getting bad when you have to use a bulldozer or a front-end loader to be able to get the snow 
out of the driveway or out of the parking lot. Winter's getting bad. Whoever invented global warming lied. But yeah, so I get to work and I'm expecting to hop on the phones and start taking calls, but nope. I find out that I am running Facebook and Twitter for T-Mobile today. So that's pretty cool. Um, if any of you guys have T-Mobile service and you ever contact T-Mobile uh, through Facebook, through Twitter, or instant message, things like that, there's a possibility that you could be speaking to me. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's a whole lot better than sitting on phones the whole time because I just basically get to sit down, pop some headphones in, either watch YouTube or listen to music, listen to audio books, things like that while I'm while I'm helping people out typing away. And the good thing about working with Facebook and Twitter, unlike when I'm taking calls, if I'm taking calls, I can see everything on your on your account, all your personal information like your name, your birthday, last for your social security number, address, see what your house looks like from Google Street View. And I mean that's all cool, fine and well, but I don't get to see what you look like. With Facebook and Twitter, I can see you. I know what you look like. I know what you post. I know what your family looks like. I know everything when I'm communicating like that. And a lot of people call in and speak with customer service and have all these demands. And I mean, people can be pretty mean, especially when you're calling. And I mean, I get it. You call in and to you, you're calling a company. In your mind, you're talking to T-Mobile. You're not talking to Justin Gifford. You're talking to T-Mobile. And I get that. But at, this, at the same time, you need to understand that we are people. It's a little difficult to deal with somebody that calls in and they're yelling and screaming in your face for 10 or 11 hours a day. That can be a little bit taxing. And so, when we get calls like that and people are yelling in our face and you know cussing us out and calling us names and saying how horrible we are as people it gets to be a little bit old if you have a problem something's wrong with your bill if you know your phone's not working your service gets lost things like that i get it it's frustrating totally understand i use my cell phone for absolutely everything internet all day every day how do you think i upload my videos to youtube how do you think i edit my videos and so i understand the level of frustration and where you're coming from but at the same point you can't come in yelling hollering and screaming demanding money nothing is going to turn me off quicker than somebody coming in and saying you guys messed up on my bill i want credits where do credits or where does money come into play. If something's wrong with your bill, I get it. We'll take a look, we'll look at it. If something's off, something's wrong, I'll rectify it. But if you were without service for a day, even two days, two whole days, 48 hours of not being able to call or text, let's break that down. $50 a month for base price of service. That covers calls, texts, and the internet. $50 over the course of 30 days in a month is just over a dollar a day. It's almost two bucks a day. So if you're calling in and you're saying that your service hasn't been working for the last two days and you want $50, $60 credit for the inconvenience, realistically, you probably lost out on, what, $4 worth of service? And that's, that's saying that you weren't able to use anything, calls, text, or internet. But if it's just your internet that wasn't working, think about that $1.66 or $1.70 for every day for all three services. Round it up, $4 for two days, divide that by three, because there's three services that you have only weren't able to use one of them. I mean, I'm only gonna credit you a buck or so if you come in hot-headed and start calling me names and calling me a piece of shit. So I, I guess the moral of the story is, when I came into work today, I was planning on taking calls and getting yelled at all day. Thankfully, I don't have to do that. And I get people are mad at T-Mobile specifically, and so where I've been doing telecommunications, whether it be sales or customer service, I've been doing this job for, I mean, almost a decade. So I get it, and I don't let it affect me, but it does get quite tiring, quite taxing to have to deal with that day in and day out. That was my little rant. I'm gonna go ahead and start heading back to work um, and see what we got in store for the second half of the day. I will check in with you guys in a little bit.
I guess what it comes down to and what I'm trying to say is we're all people. Whether it's somebody on the other end of the line when you call customer service or whether it's the gas station attendant that's sitting behind the register when you go and pay for your gasoline. You have to understand that they are just people and you have to hold a level of professionalism, respect, and dignity when you're working with these people. Just like you, nobody wants to get yelled at, especially from somebody that they don't know about something that isn't their fault. Keep your cool. You'll get a lot farther when dealing with people like us. Now guys, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I hate my job. I'm not saying that everybody's assholes or anything like that. The only thing I'm saying is it all comes back to the good old saying, treat people the way that you want to be treated. I'm guilty of it. Most of you are guilty of it. You get upset, you got a problem, you call in, the first person to pick up the phone is who you take it out on. It's human nature. All I wanted to say was, can't we all just get along? Either way, that's my day. I'm just getting out of work. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I'll leave a link to my last vlog in the description down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.